Alright, so today's video is going to be the second video that we were supposed to do on Friday, but things happened and I wasn't able to get it out on Friday. So I pushed it to Monday, but, but, it's okay, because it's still going to be delicious. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Uh, it's going to be a little weird because like I recorded both of these at the same time. Um, so it's, you know, it's going to be, yeah, the, the formatting is going to be a little odd, but we'll, we'll work through. We'll work through it. Okay, so first things first, we need to get our potatoes cut to the right size because we are gonna brine these bad boys. So um, cut them down into, here I did about like half an inch thick pieces. I don't peel my potatoes when I make fries. If you wanna peel them, you can peel them. But anyways, so for our brine mix, we are going to combine one fourth of a cup of vinegar to one fourth of a cup of salt we're going to add two to three tablespoons of crushed red pepper flakes and then we're going to add two cups of water and mix that together until the salt is dissolved into our water drain off your potatoes and then you're going to add two sprigs of italian parsley and two sprigs of rosemary now this is going to basically add aromatics to the potatoes and yeah it does stuff then you're going to pour your brine mixture over your potatoes and herbs and cover with foil because for some reason I don't know where the lid to this bowl is and then you're going to leave in your fridge for four hours or up to three days. I mean you can do it longer than that but then you'll just have like really vinegary potatoes. So shred up and set aside one of your short ribs and then we're going to get about a cup of the juices now here i have to obviously you're gonna have to strain it so strain off about a cup of the juices from your short rib pot i guess whatever you want to call it you're gonna need about a cup of this stuff now before anyone says that's not how you make gravy well we're not really making gravy gravy we're making one of the mother sauces so yeah whatever anyways in a small pot add one tablespoon of flour and one tablespoon of butter and continue to whisk until we get a brown roux now we've already we've done roux on the channel before but we've only done blonde roux a brown roux you're just going to cook it longer and then once it gets to this state you're going to slowly add in that cup of reserved short rib juices once you've gotten all that mixed in continue to whisk until everything is incorporated and then you're going to add one fourth of a cup of heavy cream all right, once you've gotten that all stirred in and incorporated, you're going to let that sit and reduce until it thickens up and darkens just a little bit. It should look pretty much like brown gravy. So yeah, congratulations, you made a sauce. All right, it's been about two or three days, so we're going to strain off our potatoes. Do not rinse these. That'll completely just nullify all of that brining that you just did for these potatoes. So don't rinse them, but you do want to pick out the herbs. So. You're going to get a kitchen towel and dry these off as well as you can because we're about to fry these and water and hot oil just don't mix so i mean if you've never fried water then uh i don't suggest you do it <laughs> heat your oil to about 250 but no higher than 280 degrees and in batches drop your potatoes in now we're not cooking these all the way through we are just blanching these potatoes because what we're going to do is we're going to freeze them and then cook them a second time. Also, if your oil gets too hot, you can add oil. It'll cool it down. Pro tip. So once those have been in there for about eight to 10 minutes, you're going to take them out, set them on a cooling rack, not on a paper towel, because then they will sit in all the oils and you'll just have an oily, soggy potato. It's gross. No one wants that. You're going to set that into your freezer for about an hour to two hours. I know takes a long time but it is worth it all right so once those have hardened in batches once again you are going to drop your potatoes into 350 to 380 degree oil do not let it go over that or else you will burn them before the insides cook believe me I know also don't overcrowd your pan once those have gotten golden brown and crispy it's time to assemble so 
take your short rib that you shredded, place that on top of your fries. Then we're going to uh, strategically, for the gram, place some uh, cheese curds all over the top of our short rib. And then it is time to drizzle our gravy type sauce on top of the cheese curds. Now, you want these cheese curds to be cold because that gravy is gonna heat them up and get them all nice and melty and cheesy. It's gonna be a good time. And that's it. You made the Canadian classic poutine. Congratulations. All right, and now for another taste test. English taste test. So we're gonna taste just a fry. Now, like I said, you don't need to salt these because we brine them. In terms of taste, it's like a balanced flavor throughout the entire french fry. It tastes like how the outside of a fry usually tastes, but like throughout the entire thing, it's, it's, it's good. So let's try the poutine itself, even with the gravy on them, still crunchy, crazy. I wanna go to Canada. <laughs> this is so good. Like with the addition of the short rib, it just adds like, oh my gosh, this is good. I can't even explain it. Canadians, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, do I need to say anything else? <laughs> also, my battery is about to die, so if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. But before you leave, take a look at this.